Hi, my name is Michael Daniels. This is my brief but spectacular contribution to music history. And today we're going to talk about the vibraphone. The vibraphone is a percussion mallet instrument that is made out of metal and or brass, unlike their marimba and xylophone counterparts, which are made out of wood. So this is a diagram practically representing the anatomy of a Yamaha vibraphone. This comes off of Yamaha Corporation's website um, that shows you all the different types of components that are on a electronic vibraphone and some of the different parts, you know, that make the vibraphone sound the way it's supposed to sound, such as your resonators, tone bars, that contr um, this control over here that drives the fan belts and creates the vibrato effect that you want out of the instruments, which then is hold by um, sliding legs to adjust your height. Playing position-wise, um, legs, large and small, that hold the entire frame, large, small, and all your rails. And then you also have your supporting body uh, known as the pedal stay that controls the pedal which you press down when you want to create longer um, sounding effects with the vibraphone. Next, we will dive into the vibraphone's upbringing. The instrument was first constructed during the height of the First World War by Herman Winterhoff. He was also the pioneer of the motor-driven aids that you can hear that create vibrato effects in modern-day vibraphones. In 1922, a Chicago-based firm, Deegan Mallet Instruments, also created what was known as the Vibraharp, which had a plethora of features during the time. Lionel Hampton, who has been considered as the most spoken musician that had played vibraphone, went to go play the Vibraharp from a California-based band during his early years. Then Boom was recognized by Louis Armstrong for his great sound and great tone quality to then go play for his band later in his career. It wasn't until 1945 where the vibraphone became a more popular reality in the orchestral setting, playing for prestigious orchestras at the time, such as the Chicago Symphony and the New York Philharmonic. Now here's a little excerpt of Sandbox Percussion Group playing Interdependence by Brendan Randall Martin. Now here's another little excerpt here played by Square Peg Round Hole Percussion Group playing their original composition, Big Thicket. Mm -hmm. 